Greetings in our Savior's name. We continue our daily devotionals. Let us make our beginning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yesterday in our devotional, we looked at the Lord's Supper window located on the northwest staircase leading up to the choir loft. Connecting to that, I thought today it would be good for us to look at our altar table you see behind me. It is currently uh, bedecked with the purple pyramids for the season of Lent that we are in. The reading I've chosen for this day comes to us from Hebrews chapter 10. Day after day, every priest stands and performs his religious duties. Again and again, he offers the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But when this priest had offered for all time one sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God. And since, th since that time, he waits for his enemies to be made his footstool. For by one sacrifice, he has made perfect forever those who are being made holy. Today is all about posture. In the reading for today, it talked about the Old Testament priest, how day after day, they always had to stand and offer again a sacrifice for sins, which were never enough. Another sacrifice was always needed. Then along comes Christ, the, the Lamb of God, the perfect Lamb of God. And he offers for all time one sacrifice for sin, and he sits down. We say that at the end of the second article of our creeds, that Jesus sat at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. He sits because his work is done. He sits, and therefore no other sacrifice is needed. Posture matters. When we look behind me and we see this altar table, we don't call it just an altar anymore because no sacrifice is needed. An altar would suggest that we have to continue to sacrifice. I refer to it as an altar table because now the sacrifice has been complete and instead this becomes a means by which God can give us the benefits of that sacrifice namely the Lord's Supper. It is for that reason that the pastor's posture in church, say that five times fast, the pastor's posture in church matters. For example, when I join with the congregation in making the confession of our sins, I turn and with you say, most merciful God, we confess that we are by nature sinful and unclean, and I'm facing the altar table, facing God as it were. When I'm speaking the absolution following the confession, I'm facing the congregation speaking on behalf of God to the congregation upon this your confession, I by virtue of my office, and so forth. Posture matters. When you watch the pastor during worship, where he faces, where he's standing, should tell you something about what's going on. If he's facing the altar table, he's joining with the congregation and making prayers to God. If he's facing the congregation, he is offering to the congregation God's word, speaking on God's behalf as the one set apart in that place to do it. Especially for the Lord's Supper, posture matters. When I speak the words of institution, I don't speak them on this side of the altar table. I go around to the back side of the altar table and speak them to the congregation our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples. Take, eat. It is God giving to us. It is a table, not an altar. We don't sacrifice the Lord's Supper again. Instead, the Lord's Supper is the benefit of a sacrifice that was made over 2,000 years ago by Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And so I stand behind the altar table, treating it too, truly as a table, setting out God's meal for God's people for their benefit, the forgiveness of sins, life, and salvation. Posture matters. Christ sits down. There is no more sacrifice that needs to be made. That should be such a comfort that there is a sureness to the fact that no more sacrifice needs to be made. There is nothing more you need to do for the forgiveness of your sins. You don't have to offer anything. You don't have to make penance. You don't have to do something 
You simply receive that which Christ has won because of his perfect death, because of his resurrection, because he chooses to do it for you and to give it to you. This is our altar table. And here we will gather again. And here we will come together as a congregation around the meal won for us by the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks that you are always with us. We thank you that Christ's sacrifice has been made once for all, that we need not do anything else. We give you thanks, Lord, that we gather as a congregation around this altar table. We thank you that it can truly be a table in which no other sacrifice is needed, but simply to receive the meal bestowed upon us by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We ask that you keep us mindful of these things. Keep us mindful of what Christ's posture means, that because he sits, the work is done. And indeed, in his own words, the work is finished. We ask that you watch over us in our time of scatteredness, that we may soon be brought back together again. We pray, Lord, today, especially for first responders who put their lives in jeopardy every day, seeking to treat the ill and respond to all those in need. Watch over them and keep them safe. Be with our congregation. Watch over each and every one of us. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with us always. Amen. This will conclude our video devotionals for the week. Please look over the weekend for the sermon which will be posted. There will be a short order of service and the sermon within it. And I hope that is beneficial to you. And I look forward to talking with you again soon.